Here we are. All right. So um, let's attend. Do you want to enter Albion Theatre Ballroom? Yes. Oh, this looks nice. Looks yeah. neat. Yeah. I'll, so tell you when it gives what it it I'll tell you what I think about it when it gives me the option to enter it. Ah. Uh. <coughs> right. Well, just wait for so, you. Wait up. Don't click on anything. We don't want to risk triggering when everybody's not here. Don't worry, I'm not clicking on anything. Wait, where are you? Inside the theater. Okay, I thought so. So I'll, I'll just come in there right now. And you are oh, on your... Oh, okay, what? okay, Jesus Christ. What? So I, I was just hovering over one of these walls, and then apparently it thinks I want to exit to London because the door fills the entire wall on my disc, or rather my screen. <laughs> okay, well, are you on your way in, I can see? Mm -hmm. I can recognize your sparkles. They're the first part of you to arrive, these sterling little shards of power. Next will be your body, and then your brain will slam into your head. And then you'll be here. Yo. Hey. And then the everything will be on fire. All right. Uh, fox S things looking cultural. Speaking, speak to the attendant. Is that you? Yeah. Okay, check the seating chart. That's this. Oh. Take your allocated seat in friends and family and wait for the show to begin. Okay, it's up to the right, farthest uh, booth. Alright, let's go. I think we can afford to walk here, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Fair enough. This is a civic place, after all. Okay, uh, that's the scene. Okay, it's up here. Why do I feel like something horrific is going to happen any moment now? Oh, no! Now the junkie is completely happy. And why do you think that, Flodus? Uh, We're in the middle of London. I mean, yeah, I trust that the, the Templars will be able to protect us, if nothing else. I, I know, but I just... It's a the, wait a moment, Flodus. Yeah. Wait a it's a, moment. It's a the, theater. Something's gonna happen. The manor of St. Nicholas. A wisdom flow so sweet. Taste and see. Transmit. Initiate the Venetian signal. Receive. Initiate the Mozart cadence. I feed and train my chirping pets. Initiate the Masonic Cypher. The vengeance of hell boils in my heart. Sound mirrors alarm. The earth a heavenly kingdom and mortals like the gods. Beware the sailors of Bari. Witness the manor of Saint Nicholas. Okay, if anything this will be very enjoyable. Right. Also if you have coats you might as well take them off. Again we are in a fine place. I'm in a suit. I'm not taking it off. All right, all right. Well, I'm just on. I'm Fair sorry. enough. And before you ask, no, I'm not taking my hat off either. <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, there's uh, a shop. Oh, what does he sell? Popcorn? Mure ale. Uh, I think these are like Christmas stuff. Misha and Cola. Oh, he, sells he sells smokes. I'm going to buy some of these. Cerberus Molder Rolls. Why not? Caron Clove Smolder. Acorn <laughs> and orange. And Misha and Cola, I'm just going to have a drink. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Oh my god, this so, is. So, Flores, you really think we should suspect something will happy, bad will be happening? I'm just paranoid. A theater. It's just bad. Something's gonna happen. So, That's expecting my the fans to warn you. <laughs> Let's see. Reserved seat. Why Let's not? Let's sit ourselves. Let's get ready to battle the Phantom of the Office. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Seat. So am I. I wasn't sure you were going to. A friend of mine gave me your number. Said that if she ever went missing, to call you. Said you'd understand if I told you she had ties to Venice. And that she could no longer trust her employers. She's gone. Just vanished. Yeah, is oh, nobody yeah, going to take the last furniture. seat? She sent me one of her notebooks oh. and a vial of, I think it's perfume, and a note. Just a note. I want to meet you after the show and give Hold on. You. I'm getting a call. Maybe you can find Angelina and... Shit. I have to go on stage now. Wish me luck. 
Oh. All right, the call ended, and Waller can sit here, and Flutters, over here with me. Oh, we see. Look, yeah, I guess you two will just have to stand. The show's about to start. Yep. Shh. And the you two of us are suddenly invisible. Well, why haven't you just left your sparkles in your seat? Don't know. Okay. Is we, are we gonna get anything else but the music? Ah, finally. Up goes the curtains. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, Finitions. So what was it? What, what did I say? What the fuck are they doing? They're shooting at huh? Did we just lose contact? Yeah, be right back. All right, we're back. Okay, did anything happen? Yep. Uh, Phoenicians uh, came in and shot people, including the guy who most likely called us. Oh yeah, I saw that part. I fortunately dropped out right after the cutscene ended, mm. so... Yeah, nothing happened after that. Okay so, that. okay, so let me just get this straight. A Phoenician team of crack soldiers touched mast into Templar territory and opened fire on civilians. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, not only is that absolutely grotesque and makes me want to kill them as quickly as possible, I also have to question, what the fuck are your people doing? I have no idea. Are they just sleeping? Oh. Open fire. Butchers. Yep, they are butchers. Ah! <laughs> Venetian raiders. <laughs> You think you're tough because you got a fucking machine gun? Well, guess what I got? And well, guess where my balls are going? That's right up your ass! Well, we're not done surviving. Get ready. Jeez. Okay! No, I'm, I'm hiding behind the bar. So that means we can add the Phoenicians oh. to the list of... Ah, oh, fuck, not again. Again, uh, I'm going to have to find my in internet provider and punch him a bit. All right, yes. everything's going. Everything's happening. Up on there's something marked on the stage. Apparently. Hold on. Wait again for Cobra to be here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. We have to search backstage. And I have to go punch your internet provider for a while. See back here is law, the most important thing, of course. It's about the manor of Saint Nicholas. That's not what I wanted to grab. Game. They buried Santa Claus in Mura. His holy cad cadaver leaked magical fluids. The monks fought so bravely, but the Bari pirates escaped with half. Two pieces of Saint Nick separated. Make a wish. Purple sails flapping away on the horizon. We were there when those from Mura came to Venice. Later they would become a council. They had their half of the holy cadaver moved there. Their petitions to the Phoenicians for their half were rebuffed. Heads or tails? Right, so the Phoenicians want the entire corpse of Santa Claus. My god! He's... How... What's wrong with these people? You're yeah. so Francis? Shit, they're coming after me. The Phoenicians. Don't have much time. Dug into something too deep. Sending your contact info for an agent to saw in the council's records. Seems formidable, maybe even trustworthy. Sending you my notebook. Don't know who I can trust in the council. Contact the agent. The Phoenician is now going to be after you too. I'm so sorry, Angelina. Okay. And then examine the notebook. I pre Oh, crap. No, wait, there it is. The Magic Flute. The Magic Flute premiered on September the 13th, 1791, in Vienna. Mozart conducted large crowds. Early success. Obscure reports of some influential woman being highly offended by the depiction of the Queen of Night. But the name is lost. Who? Mozart died... <sighs> Mozart 
Moser dies on December the 5th, 19, 1791. December 8th. Any connection to Krampusnacht? No, that's ridiculous. Looking for other connections. Masonic symbolism. Moser was a large problem. The Queen of Night may represent the anti-Masonic Roman Catholic Church. Her antagonist, Sarastro, represents rationalistic enlightenment. Humankind progresses from chaos to superstition to enlightenment. Dann ist die Erde ein Himmelreich und der Blicke den Göttern gleich. Moses was apprenticed at Suavohitatikate, a Viennese lodge. His musical talent made him welcome in all the lodges Masonic ideology played heavily into his work. Aqua Tofana. Cause of Moses' death, still officially unknown. He complained to his wife that he had been poisoned with Aqua Tofana. Very specific, killed so soon after the premiere of the Magic Flute. Was this a Freemason plot? A plot by one of the secret societies? Seems unlikely. All gathered evidence indicates they were just as confused. Who ordered the killing? What was the motive? Seemed to recall some sort of historical connection between Aquatofana and Manor of St. Nicholas. Confirm the library? Look for my research hidden volumes in the sunken library. Uh, and beware the sailors from Bari. And then we'll be right back. Okay, yeah. so we're back. Okay, so... I assume you didn't hear everything I said. The short version is basically that uh, Mozart made the opera of the Magic Flute and then soon after was killed. The lion can't do What? Don't tell me it's going to cut off again. I just got into the game. Uh, can anyone hear me? Uh. Hello. Happy holidays. All right, I swear to everything that I have a stable internet. It's just the internet seems to really dislike the secret world. Or maybe just the gremlins that inhabited, I don't know. In any case, the hmm. note spoke about Mozart, who wrote this, then got assassinated, and, well, basically all the secret society was just like, why would anyone assassinate that guy? So they figure it's not one of the big three. I see. Uh, so, group? Yeah, I guess it might have been the Phoenicians. In any case, Mana di San Nicola. Uh, before you do that, Cobra. Oh, group, group, right, right. Now, the Mana di San Nicola. Huh. Huh. And a flute. We all have to pick it up by the time. And now we have to go to Venice. Let's see if you guys can come in there without problems. Okay, yeah. Um, I went here without the tissue, so we should be able to go there. It's uh, kind of neat. Well, I say kind of neat. It's... Jesus Christ. Did we even get the... Nah. I think the tick guy in the ticket booth got out. Uh, right up. Flutters? Yep. I, I yep. want you to send a message to Sonic and, like, get him to actually... Oh, I don't know. PROTECT THE CITY! Because I'll be bringing this up the next time he goes, Yeah, we're the only ones doing anything! No, you're not. In fact, you're not doing anything. Sit down and shut up. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if it says anything about my faith in my society that I predicted something would fuck up in that theater. <laughs> oh, and this is, of course, the... So this is, you know, we're gonna do happy holiday fun time stuff now. Not at all uh, tragic and disastrous like last time. What are we gonna see? Innocent civilians shot in a theater. Merry Christmas! Yeah, yeah, maybe you should have said that that cobra until we could, we knew what we were getting into. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you could take anything for that face value. It was about the. the it's, it's called the Christmas conspiracy. It was about Santa Claus. And uh, of course, they've run a head cover, yeah. So yeah, and, and the other Christmas content involved us starting the Mayan apocalypse. And kicking a dude in the crotch, making him go, Arr! 
how would I to know it would be this? What would the Phoenicians committing acts of terror? Or how would I want to describe this? Phoenicians apparently do not give a fuck about who they shoot as long as the paycheck is good enough. Yeah. Huh. I'll, I'll be adding the, them to the list of people we need to kick. I thought you added them back by the theme park. Well, yeah, they were, yeah. But back in the theme park, I was just sort of, you know, annoyed at them. But then, now, now they're on the level of the Orochi and the Morning Light, where it's just like, oh, this group needs to cease to exist. I can agree. And I have to say... I might hate your boss's god Scopa and the whole attitude of the Illuminati sometimes, but if I were to choose between the Phoenicians and the Illuminati, yeah, I think I would choose the Illuminati. I think. And well, honestly, what have we seen the Illuminati, Illuminati do that's as bad as what these other groups have been doing? Oh, I'm by the Sunken Library. Oh, that was quick. I see, so we're supposed to just jump from here, Cobra? Um, uh, maybe. It's kind of hard to judge, really. Uh, okay, Oh, wait, no, I can see it down there. I can see oh, it down there. Oh, for the record, there's law on top of the entrance. No, 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 Okay, so no, no one fucking go in there until Cobra has had his law fill. Well, no. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Law. Uh, Where's the law? On top of the off top of it. Oh. No, no, I don't want to go there. I want to. No. How do I? Mm. How do I? Do I have to land on top of it? That could be the case. Mm. Well, I know how to do that. Yeah, I think that's the only way. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there, game. Don't want to go there, game. No game. Game. No. Game. No. Oh, that person figured it out, apparently. <sighs> it was cool, bro. You're at the library. Oh, son of no. a I'm not inside the library. We're trying to get some lore that's directly outside on the gate. No. No. Wait. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Oh, this would be so much easier if that message stopped popping up all the time. Yes. No. Yes. Up. Got it. God damn it. It's about the sinking city. Let's see what it says. Once upon a time, there was a sinking city. There was a sinking ideal. Dampness and corruption. Something rots in Venice. But what is time to us? We stand outside. We watch in reverse. Emit a nupo ekno. A city rises out, of, rises out of the water. This fills us with hope. You are not so lucky. You play a limited game. A few limited dimensions. The camera always pass forward. You can't go back. Everything gets faster and faster. And then you die. Game over. Now I want to go inside the library. 